So there's a few different ways that you can screen record on your Mac. So whether you're looking to just record something quickly for social media, or you're looking to create a full on course, I'm going to run through my favorite options. There are three of them, depending on your specific use case. But we're going to start off with something that is totally free. It's already built into your Mac, and that is QuickTime. So you want to go ahead and open up QuickTime on your Mac. You can find it down here under your applications. Here it is here. And we can ignore this first box when it comes up. What we want to do though is go File, New Screen Recording. So in here, we've got some options that show up down the bottom. Now you can also access this by pressing Command Shift 5 on your keyboard as well. These first options here are for screen captures, as in just creating a JPEG or a PNG image file. These last two here, where we've got this little record icon, these are for recording videos. So we can either record your entire screen or we can record a selected portion where we can just draw out an area on screen like this. For this one, I'm just gonna leave this here as full screen or entire screen, but then we can choose here options. We get to choose where our file is going to save. I'm just gonna pick on the desktop, come back down here. We get to choose if we've got a countdown timer. So if we wanna hit record and a countdown from five or 10 seconds, we can easily do that here. If we wanna record our audio, our microphone as well, then we can pick our microphone in here. I'm gonna leave this one here as none for now. But we also have options for things like showing your mouse clicks, where it will call those out and make it more obvious, which is great if you're gonna be showing someone how to say edit something on their computer. So I normally leave this one selected, but then all we need to do here is hit record pick which screen we're going to record. In this case, it's my display number one, and the recording has started. There's no countdown because we didn't pick one, but we know this is recording because up the top here, we've got this little stop button here. So I could go ahead, move around, maybe open up some folders and things. All of this is being recorded here. So when we want to stop the recording, we can just press stop. Let's close out of this, and we can see we've now got our screen recording file here on our desktop. So this is the file here, and we can play through this. And you'll see everything that we just did. Now the screen recordings in QuickTime are actually really high quality. If we bring up the inspector here, show movie inspector, then we go video details. We can see that this is 68 megabits per second. It might mean nothing to you, but that's really high quality. And our frame rate here is around 51 frames per second. So it's gonna be a really smooth file recording here. Now in terms of editing, you can do some basic stuff in here in QuickTime once your screen recording is done. So we can come up the top here to edit and come down here to trim. And we have the ability to trim off the start, trim off the end, and just perform some basic edits like that. Nothing too fancy. But QuickTime doesn't let you record your system sounds. So any playback sound that's happening on your computer, it also doesn't allow you to record your webcam or your face into these videos either. But the next option is a big step up in terms of customizability and what you can actually do with your recordings. And that's Teller. This is one that I've been using for quite a while and we've actually used it to create a lot of more advanced training. Some of the stuff that's inside of our accelerator program. So this one is Mac software that you can download and install, but there's also a cloud version. But given that you're on Mac watching this video, I would recommend that you download and install the app because it's going to give you higher quality recordings and access to some extra features as well. But it's also not just screen recording. There's a bunch of AI capabilities in here when it comes to editing and creating a polished video all built into Teller as well. So I'm gonna go ahead now and open up Teller. All right, so this is what we see when we first open up the app. Got this again, terrible webcam preview. But if we click up the top here, we can customize things up. So for our camera, we can choose recording quality up to 4K. This built in webcam doesn't go that high, but let's pick 4K anyway. Our screen recording, if we want to record our computer screen, we can choose the quality for that again, 4K. The next option here, we can choose what we want to do with our mouse cursor. So we can show it or we can hide it. So again, we've got that next level of customization that we can have in here. Same for computer sounds here. This last one, system audio, do not record system sound or record system sound. I'm gonna pick off for this case. We can see down the bottom here, we've got a preview of our microphone. So we can see that there is audio actually coming through here, but we can also pick our microphone. I'll leave it at that one there for this video. We can select our camera from here too, and we can pick the screen that we wanna record, or again, we can select a specific area for the recording as well. Let's leave this here as full screen. Now, one thing I do like to change here is the preview. I like to switch this up here in the settings. So we go to preferences. 
Again, we've got access to those same settings that we just set, but over here under general, I like to switch the preview orientation from portrait to landscape because normally I'm recording from my regular YouTube camera, which is widescreen. So I like to be able to preview that here. But you can see we can also customize things up like a countdown timer and there's keyboard shortcuts to start and stop your recording and things as well. So now we've got our wide screen preview here. We can then hit record to start recording. We get our nice little countdown. And we've got this preview here showing us that we are recording and we can see what the webcam is actually capturing, knowing that we're also recording our computer screen here too. And we're loading up some websites and we're showing this off in our screen recording video here. Now this preview, it's not being shown and we can actually hide this too if we don't wanna see it. So we're still recording here, full screen. Maybe even if we maximize this up, so it is full screen. We're still doing all of this recording. And when we want to stop, we can come up to the teller menu bar here. It's gonna bring this back up and we can stop our recording. Now, one thing I like here is that now that I've hit stop recording, I can actually continue recording again. So that's made one clip. If I now want to show something else on screen or jump to the next piece of my recording, I can press this to start recording a second clip. So right now we're counting down to record the next piece of our video. So if you're shooting your video in chunks, this could be a really good way to do it. But we can also restart this take. If we don't like this attempt or this take, we can restart it. We can also cancel it if we don't like it either. I'm gonna hit stop. So right now we have two clips that we have recorded. Now to move on to the next step, it's actually called preview. So it's almost like finalize this. We get to play back our recording here. But at this point, we're transitioned over to their web interface. So our recording has been or is already uploaded into the cloud at this point. We can straight away see our two clips down the bottom here, and these will play back as one whole video. So even though they're recorded in clips or chunks, the end recording can just be one video. But what you'll notice straight away is that our elements here of the computer screen and the webcam are actually movable. I can resize, I can pick stuff up, I can really customize up the look and feel of this. So this is a massive step up from what you can do in QuickTime. Same as the screen recording here, let's say that we want it smaller on the screen. That might actually be a little confusing because I've got my background is the same for both of these. So we can jump over here and change it. Let's change the background to one of these presets here. Maybe this one looks kind of cool. So we can then customize up what our video here will look like. And we can manually do this, or there is a bunch of presets in here. So we can go to layout, and we can change up how this actually looks. And if we scroll down here, you'll see how many different layouts or looks there actually are. And you can customize your own and save your own up as well. But the beauty of this is too, is that we can actually edit our video using these different layouts. So it says here that we can apply layouts at different moments in the timeline. So there could be a piece of the video where we want to maybe start with me full screen. So we could make that happen. We could either choose a layout here or customize up a layout. And I'm sure if we scroll down here, there would be a preset for that. Here we go, camera only, camera full screen, right? Very, very simple. So we could start our video at this point, and then maybe when we get to where I'm showing something, we could pick one of these other layouts here, maybe something like this. So you can see the level of customization you've got in here, we're changing the layouts, the backgrounds, borders, you can add subtitles in here as well. And again, there's lots of different presets of what that looks like. Let's just pick this first one here. And if we come across to where I'm talking, So we can see we've got that happening on screen here now. Let's play that again. We can edit those to customize those up. We can change the transcripts. We can fix any typos or anything as well. But this is like, it's obviously pulled an AI transcript of what we've said here, which is awesome. There's also now some built-in AI functionality in terms of editing as well. So if we come up here to trim, there is magic trim which is gonna cut the ums, ahs, and silences. We can remove buffers or any pauses or silences at the start and end of your videos. And we also have the ability to edit the video from the transcript itself now. Once you're ready to save, we can download the video to our computer here, or we can actually share it as a viewable link, something like a Loom video where we can just send someone a link and they can preview and play back the video directly from there as well. And there's a bunch of branding and stuff that you could have. So it actually could be a good viewing experience for you to share your videos out as well. 
Now, in regards to pricing, there is a trial version. So you can jump in and have a play around, but these pricing here is currently set to yearly. So we're looking at $12 per user per month for the pro plan. This is gonna give you the 4K exports as well. So decent quality, lots of screen recording. Will that limit you to 1080 at this sort of price point? But also 60 frames per second so that you're getting that buttery smooth screen recording too. So this is where I would imagine most people will be sitting. But if you are after the more advanced sharing capabilities, things like the custom branding, custom domain, then there is the premium one here as well. And if we just quickly switch this from yearly pricing to monthly, then it's $19 per user per month. So that brings us to option number three, which is Descript. This is one of my favorite tools right now. It's actually what we're using to record all of our YouTube videos, all of our training and masterclasses, all of that stuff. I'm now using Descript for that. I'm actually recording this exact video into Descript too. And it shares a lot of similarities with Teller, but it is much more advanced on the editing side of things. So just like Teller, you can download the software and install on your Mac, or there is also a cloud-based version of this where you can record directly into the cloud as well. Personally, I am more of a fan of installing the desktop software for both Teller and Descript. It does allow you to record at higher quality. But functionality and using Descript, it's exactly the same on the web version too. So I'll go ahead and sign in here. And straight away, we can see all the different projects. Here's the video that I'm recording right now on the desktop version of this. Now, obviously there's so much more in here than just screen recording capabilities. But if we wanna start a new project here, then we can either go new project or I can just go straight to the record feature. So we can record our camera, we can record our camera and screen or just the screen. We can also record audio as well. And if we wanna have a Zoom style interview recording, where we're bringing in other people or other guests for interviews and things, we can do all of that in here too, making it good for podcasts and things as well. So I'm gonna choose screen with camera. Now, if you're on the desktop version of Descript, you actually get this nice little preview window here. I couldn't show you that while I was recording in the desktop version of Descript, but you can see again, we can pick our camera down the bottom here. We've got our microphone selection here. We can then pick the screen, we can choose if we wanna have the computer audio or not recording, and we can jump straight into our options here. So we just hit record when we want to start the recording, we get our countdown, and we've got our preview down here that we can make sure we are recording and stop and pause our recording all from this little widget here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press stop. All right, so that's in there now. You can see we've got our text. This is what I love about Descript is you really can do your editing just from editing the text. So we could select this, we could remove it, and that chunk's now gone from the video. We also have access to our timeline down the bottom here. So if we bring this up, we can edit as if we would a regular video as well. But just like Teller, our screen recording here is separate from the camera. So we can change how this actually looks with different layouts and things. We can pick things up, we can move them around. We could change this to a portrait video if we wanted to reformat this for TikTok or Instagram. Or we can create a custom resolution video in here too. Just the same as Teller, there are so many different presets in here that we can choose from, or we can customize our own up as well. Now, because it's already got the text and everything in here, it's again really easy for us to add our captions. So we can see what those look like here. Maybe we'll pick this one. So I've got our text on screen here and maybe we wanna put it up in the middle here and stretch this out a little bit. So if we preview this now, we can see in real time that we can create something pretty amazing, pretty damn fast. But some of the standout features for me in here are these AI actions. Again, some of these are similar to what we saw in Teller with removing filler words, shortening word gaps. This one here, edit for clarity, not only is it removing the ums, the ahs, so's, it's also removing digressions, it says, blather, and it also helps remove retakes as well. So if you're someone like me that does multiple takes or gets caught up in my own head when I'm producing a video like this and say things multiple times, then we can easily remove all of that stuff with one click and it does an amazing job. There's also stuff like eye contact where it uses AI to move your eyes so it looks like you're looking at the camera. There's green screen capabilities, the ability to blur your speaker background. There's the ability to create AI generated clips from here as well, where it goes through and it watches your entire video and it can pull out short sections that you could then go and post as shorts or TikToks. 
There is so much in here and we've got some other videos out on our channel diving deeper into just some of the AI functionality in here as well as tutorials and things as well. But in terms of saving your file out, we can come up here to export. We can then choose our destination. So we've got a Descript link. So very, again, similar to Teller where we can have a preview link that we can send out to people. And I think this is something that Teller has more options in terms of restricting access and branding and all of that stuff right now if you're gonna go the web link. But you also have the ability here to upload directly to YouTube or to Google Drive or lots of other places as well, which can be a massive time saver, as well as obviously saving the file to your local computer. But in regards to pricing, there is a few different options. We've got a hobbyist plan here, $16 per month. This is paid annually. So if we kick this, that's $24 a month, month to month. But this will let you export up to 1080p watermark free, and it's gonna give you access to some of that AI functionality. I'd say where most people are gonna to wanna to sit is around this creator plan here, $35 a month, month to month, or annual is $24 a month. This is going to let you export in 4K. It's gonna give you greater access to the AI stuff, including things like the AI eye contact, even the new agent feature as well, where you can just give it instructions and it'll edit your video for you. And you also get unlimited access to their royalty-free stock library as well. So music and sound effects and stock footage, all of that stuff you can bring into your projects easily as well, all under one subscription. But even if you just wanna jump in and have a play around and test this out with your workflow, there is a free version of this as well, where you can jump in and have a play. So those are my top options for best screen recording software on Mac right now. Let me know in the comments, which one is your number one. And if you wanna dive in even deeper with Descript, then check out the videos that I've got linked on screen, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.